A hot one today. Uh, all right, so six easy paced miles, which were slower than normal today. Uh, 938 uh, pace, but it was also about 95 degrees outside today. Um, I didn't get myself awake early enough to go knock it out before the work day. And so I had to be into the studio by 6.30. I was opening today on the Saturday. So, um, you know, I had to go run in a little bit of heat. So pros and cons, right? So you get a little bit of uh, heat acclimation. Um, body starts to get used to the heat. It becomes a little bit more efficient in that heat. And, um, and that will translate to when the temperatures get cooler during race days. Usually on a race day, it's early morning, uh, really nice temps. Of course, it all depends on where you are running and, and what the temperature, what's nice temperature there, right? So I'm here over here on the West Coast in California. So it's relatively dry here. So humidity is rarely an issue. It just gets hot, hot. So um, my race here in the next three weeks is going to be in San Francisco at 5 a.m. in the morning. I haven't really researched the weather, but I anticipate that it's going to be much cooler um, than it is right now. I don't anticipate 95 degree weather or anywhere near 95 degrees. And uh, what will happen is that uh, my body will be able to cool off a little bit easier and will allow my body to expend more energy on the actual running mechanics. And so a, little, a faster pace is what would be anticipated. And so a little running in the heat um, is not too bad. Uh, I've been doing a lot of running in the heat just because that's what my schedule has uh, been allowing for me. So um, today I wanted to talk about um, the, the fine line between doing what's safe and listening to the inner critic because it is a fine line. Um, do I have? I see some swimming around. Uh, maybe it's just the, uh, the sun. But anyways, there's a fine line between being safe and uh, allowing your inner critic or what I would say is your inner bitch take over. Um, that I think is extremely important to be able to understand. So I know that there was a big part of me, there was a ton of negotiation that was happening as I looked at the temps, what it was going to be like when I went for my run at 1130. And I really thought about not going on the run because it was so hot. I had to kind of reel myself back and, and really understand that I was going on an easy pace. There was no pace expectation. And in my journey, what I've realized is that although pace matters, it doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. So an easy pace, that is a very, very broad spectrum. And even if I'm doing my speed workouts, as long as my effort level is there, I know what my body is capable of doing in ideal conditions. And so there may be times that we may overexert ourselves because we're trying to keep the same pace at 95 degrees as we would keep at 55 degrees. And that is not the right way to think. And if you think that way, that's how you can put yourself in a really, really bad position in, from a, a hydration standpoint or from a mentality standpoint, an expectation standpoint, and that's where it can get really, really dangerous. But at the same time, if you understand 
that your desired pace or your goal paces are based off of ideal conditions and when conditions are not ideal that you have to adjust your expectations then it opens up your ability to do more in um, in different conditions so I had no problem going out running it 95 degrees because I wasn't going to try and hit an easy pace at 8 minutes and 30 seconds per mile and instead I was okay with staying in the nine, high nines and the low tens because I knew that it would be a challenge with the heat. Um, same thing when I was going out and doing my speed work earlier this week, my goal pace for like a tempo day was supposed to be a 745, which is supposed to be my marathon pace. I was close, um, but there were a lot of, you know, there were a few miles at the eight minute pace. Hello, my love. It's okay, you can, you can come in. Just come love me. This is my daughter, JJ. I'm very sweaty. It's her birthday tomorrow. And so we're gonna do a little celebration today because she's gonna go hang out with her friends tomorrow. It's fine. I'm fine. As long as I get a day with you. She feels guilty right now. So, anyways. Um, but my speed work, 7.45 um, was the goal pace. I was hitting around 8. Uh, for my speed days, I was supposed to be in the 7.18, 7.30, and I was kind of fluttering around the 7.30, 7.45 pace. But again, with hotter weather. And so... Um, I find solace in understanding that when the temperature is going to be lower that my body will cool off easier and I will be able to exert more energy on the actual run and I won't, uh, my heart rate won't start to skyrocket like it did, uh, like it's doing in this heat. So um, when you're going out for your runs, uh, temper your expectations, understand how heat is going to impact your pace and you don't have to go out and you don't have to crush it on a day when it's 95 degrees. Tomorrow it's supposed to be a hundred and a million degrees. Yeah, that is a scientific number. Uh, like 109 tomorrow. Today uh, the high is 105. And so I think tomorrow Sarah and I are gonna try and hit an earlier run um, is what she texted me. So uh, we'll, we'll see what that looks like given the fact that we have to figure out how to run at 5 a.m. in the morning for the San Francisco Marathon, which also means that we got to wake up at like 3, 3.30 to eat and get our electrolytes in and all that other stuff. So, um, so temper your pace. Be aware that, um, that your pace will sac be sacrificed in heat. But also understand that you could probably take, depending on the amount of uh, um, uh, how hot it is, you can take time off of that pace and get a realistic understanding of what you're going to be doing. There are calculators online um, that will tell you how heat can roughly impact your paces. Um, I don't have those numbers, so I don't want to mislead you guys, but um, you can take a look at that. All right, so that's all I got. Um, circumstances don't change your responsibility I had a training run I needed to do today I wasn't able to get up earlier enough to do it and so I had to go get it done in not the most ideal conditions but I'm glad I went and got it done um, and uh, it's better than sitting there skipping the run and, and thinking to myself how I skipped the run and feeling bad about it I'd much rather go out and um, as I always like to say don't put up a zero Right, do something. Even if you just, if you're supposed to run six, maybe you just run a couple. Maybe you run three. Um, maybe you just run a mile. But go out and do something. Um, it's going to do a lot for you mentally. And then when you're out there, you may find, oh, you can push one more mile, or you can push one more mile. Um, and there's a lot of power in uh, just going one more. All right. Have a wonderful day, you guys. I'm gonna go shower up. Take a nice cold shower, get some food in my system, and uh, yeah.
I love you all. Have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful day. Deuces.